Good morning and welcome to day three of Praise in the Park Compassion Camp. Today, Pastor Susan, Pastor John, and I will all be talking about how it takes compassion to be able to love ourselves. So let us begin today with some songs. Part of loving ourselves is being happy and finding joy. So we're going to start out by singing, I've Got the Joy. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart, I've got the joy, 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 down in my heart, Where? down in my heart to stay. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus, down in my heart, Where? down in my heart, Where? down in my heart, I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus, in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart. Down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. One more time. I've got the joy, 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 joy. Down in my heart, Where? down in my heart, Where? down in my heart, I've got the joy, 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 down in my heart, Where? down in my heart to stay. Now the next song we're going to do is the one right after this one, right after I've Got the Joy on Your Song Sheet, it's I've Got Peace Like a River. Now there are special motions that go along with this song. So if you can, everybody, everybody at home, stand up and follow Pastor Susan and Pastor Angie because they're going to show you what the motions are. Now, as you can see on your song sheet, we're going to sing, I've got peace like a river. So Pastor Susan and Pastor Angie, um, if, you would, if you would demonstrate, please. Peace like a river. I've got joy like a fountain. Joy like a fountain. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean. And then for the last verse, we're going to sing all three at once. I've got peace like a river. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got love like an ocean in my soul. In my shoe. In my shoe, in my soul. Da 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 da. Psh. Thank you, Pastor Angie. Okay, on that note, no pun intended this time, let's sing the song. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got joy. A joy like mountain, I've got joy like a mountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got love, I've got love. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my 
my soul. In my shoes. All three. I've got peace like a river. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got love like an ocean in my soul. In my shoes. I've got peace like a river. I've got joy like a fountain. I got love like an ocean in my soul. All right, everyone. Yeah, give yourselves a hand and let's give a, a big hand to Pastor Susan and Pastor Angie. All right, boys and girls, uh, we want to give you an opportunity today to uh, utilize your banks. We are supporting with our Vacation Bible School money this year, the organization known as For Love of Children. This is a group that is uh, located downtown Dayton. We uh, collected for them last year. So um, at this time, we're going to give you a moment as we take a moment to put our monies into the bank uh, to support For Love of Children. This group helps boys and girls who aren't as uh, fortunate as you may be to have food and clothing and toys at Christmas. So let's take a moment and put in our offering. I'm cleaning up all the loose change in my house. Takes me a moment. I do want to say, um, since we're halfway through our Vacation Bible School week, um, at the end of Vacation Bible School, that will be over on Friday, when you go to church on Sunday, take your bank to church and turn it in to Pastor John or Pastor Angie or whoever your pastor may be, myself, and they will get that money back to me, and then we will get it all counted up. We'll try to let you know at each of our churches how much money we collected this uh, week during Vacation Bible School, and then we will send a check to the organization for love of children. Thank you so much for giving to these kids. Now we're going to sing the compassion prayer. May we be filled with compassion. May we be filled to the top of our hearts when we have the power to make something right. May we show God's love. May we be shown compassion. May we be found in the center of peace when we have needs that others can meet. May we find God's love. May we find God's love. May we find God's We are once again at the time for our Bible study. Our Bible story today is from the Gospel according to Mark, chapter 12, verses beginning with verse 28. Remember that today we are talking about how being uh, taking care of ourselves is um, one of uh, the good commandments that we talked about yesterday, but it says that we should remember that we are thinking about today what it means to take care of ourselves. 
Sometimes people tell us that when we take care of ourselves, we're being selfish. But Jesus thought that it was important enough that we take care of ourselves that he even talked about it in one of his stories. So let's get ready for our story today. We are still in Israel, and so today we are going to again put our sand in. Today's story takes place at the temple in the city of Jerusalem. So here is the temple. And here are a couple of pillars that we're going to put out front. And again, we'll put our tree. And I have a little wall here to put by the temple as well. When Jesus and his disciples were in Jerusalem, they often spent time at the temple. And Jesus told stories and taught when he was at the temple sometimes. And there were people coming to worship at the temple. The women had to stay outside more. They weren't allowed on the inside, but they could watch. But the men could gather up close. That wasn't very fair, was it? So this day, when Jesus was at the temple, some of the uh, people were asking him questions. And the temple leaders and the elders were unsure about him. And so they asked him things like, who gave you the power to do and say these things? And one temple leader said they were jealous and they wanted to trick him. And they said, should people pay taxes? Others were worried and asked, what happens in the resurrection and the afterlife? But there was one temple leader who was curious about Jesus. He could see that Jesus was wise and kind. And so he asked Jesus, which one of God's laws, God's commandments, is the most important? And Jesus said to him, the first is one that we all know. Oh, hear, O Israel, the Lord your God, the Lord is one. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind, and with all your strength. And before the temple leader could ask any more, Jesus went on and said, the second is, love your neighbor as yourself. These are the two most important of God's laws. So when they asked, they were, when the, all of these leaders asked all these questions, they were concerned with so many different things. And they were focused on things that weren't related to loving God, or loving their neighbors, or loving themselves. They didn't understand or trust Jesus, how he heals, how he teaches, and loves, and so they asked him questions about how he became a teacher. It's important for us to remember that even uh, when there are times when we need to care for others, that we learn to care for one another by taking care of ourselves as well. What do you think it means to love ourselves? And why is it important that we love ourselves? 
How does having love for ourselves help us to love others and to love God? What are some ways that you can love yourself? What would it be like to be in the crowd hearing these kinds of questions? What would it be like to hear Jesus remind the people of God's most important rules to live by? How do you imagine the disciples felt listening to the religious leaders asking Jesus questions and to know that they had, were unsure of Jesus? Imagine why this might have been surprising to hear. Good morning again, boys and girls. Today, day number three of Compassion Camp, we will be using the activity sheets that are colored yellow. So I'll give each of you a moment to reach into your backpack and pull out the sheet that is yellow. It says, for myself. We're speaking about compassion and the need to have compassion, not only for others, but for ourselves. Have you ever felt sick? Maybe you had a bad cold or a bad sore throat and a little bit of fever and you just felt so bad that all you could do was lie in your bed or sit on the couch and watch some television. When you felt like that, you couldn't help anyone else because you felt so bad. And it's the same in a way with compassion. It's hard to have compassion for other people if you don't have some compassion for yourself. So today, as we've been doing every day, I have my picture colored and you'll have a chance to color yours. It says, for myself, meaning you need to have compassion for yourself. And there are some words there that perhaps describe you or someone you know. Um, I am gentle or loving or good or brave or unique or smart. These are words that can help to describe us. And there's lots of other words that may describe you. And we're going to talk about those words. But first, we're going to cut out our color picture for today. And we're going to attach it with a little scotch tape and yarn to our string. And remember that you may be taping yours on a door or you may be uh, using a magnet and putting it on the refrigerator at home and that is fine. However you're displaying your cutouts this week is just fine. The Lord has blessed us with a nice breeze each day here at the park. And so I attach mine to the string and then you can see here in the background that the wind is blowing them all over the place. But let me put this on here. Day one, we talked about compassion and coming to the table. The second day, we talked about compassion and being brave and loving our neighbors and being brave and helping one another. Today, we're talking about how compassion helps us to love ourselves. We're going to take a moment and go to our uh, Compassion Camp poster, those six white pieces that come together and kind of make a puzzle. And as we look at that today, we're going to be looking at for moments of compassion that show people taking time to care for themselves. So as you look over your poster pieces, your puzzle pieces, let's see how we can find examples today of where people are doing something to take care of themselves. For instance, down in the corner, there are some, oh, there's a spider. Lots of nature out here at the park. Down here in the corner of your poster, we can see some people who are doing yoga. They're on their yoga mats, practicing various moves and taking moments to pause and reflect. So doing yoga is a way of taking care of yourself. Just up from where the people are doing yoga, there's a picture of someone who has a, a paintbrush and a big crayon 
and a tablet. This person enjoys drawing. And so she's taking care of herself by taking a little time to sit outdoors, perhaps in a place like this beautiful park where we're having Bible school. And she's doing something that she enjoys. It's helping her to relax, to find time to reflect on the good things that God has given her in life. And this person is drawing. Over in this picture, over on this side of your poster, there's a little girl who's up playing in the treehouse. She's playing alone, but she's having a good time. She has a treehouse that's built like a sailboat up in the top of the trees. And she's up there just enjoying being alone, seeing what she can see in God's great world, and spending time just reflecting on the good things that God has given her. What we want you to do today in your activity is to think about what makes you special. What makes you, you, Pastor John? Or what makes you special, Pastor Angie? What kind of things do you like to do? What's your favorite activity or hobby? Positive thoughts about yourself can make you feel good. And doing things that we enjoy brings us happiness. So what you're going to make today is a prayer chain. In your packet, in your little baggie, you should have strips of paper, all different colors of construction paper. You might have some that are alike, but everybody has a, ver a variety of papers and colors. What I like you to do is to take that piece of paper, and if you can't write, just have someone help you or have someone fill it out for you and then give it back. But what you put on each piece of paper is a positive word to describe you or perhaps uh, to write down an accomplishment that made you feel good or some activity that you enjoy. As I worked on my compassion bracelet, um, on my first paper I have written the word compassionate because I am a very compassionate person. Then on my second paper, it says helpful. I have had people tell me that I am a very helpful person and that it means a lot to them that I am that way. I have the word sensitive on another piece of paper. I have feelings and I'm sensitive not only to how I'm feeling, but to how other people are feeling. Then I have one that says the word loyal. I have been told that I'm a very loyal person. And then I have one that says loving. People often say to me, you are a very loving person and I appreciate you for that. Once you have the words written on your paper or perhaps it's easier for you to draw a picture and you can draw a picture of something that describes you or an accomplishment that maybe made you feel good, then all you have to do is take the end of your paper. Your paper would be long like this. You just kind of loop it around and I have just used scotch tape. And for your first link, you would just fold the ends together and put a piece of tape. And that makes your band complete. And then the next piece of paper you loop through and you do the same thing. And you continue to loop your papers and use a little piece of tape or a staple or a little bit of glue. Um, you have a glue gun in your backpack, a little glue stick. You can glue the ends of your paper together. And once you hook them all up, you have a compassion chain. So have fun later today with your compassion chains. And I will see you again tomorrow. Thank you, and God bless. God is good. All the time. All the time. God, God is good. good. We hope that you had a fun time today at Praise in the Park Compassion Camp as we talked about how compassion also means taking care of ourselves. Let us close today by singing some songs with Pastor John. We're going to start by singing Create in Me. 
which is on the first page of your song sheets. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, O Lord, and take not your hold Spirit from me, restore unto me the joy of your salvation, and renew a right spirit within me. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, O Lord, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of your salvation, and renew a right spirit within me. As you go through today and think about the things that we have talked about, think to yourself, what surprised you today? What disappointed you today? Did you share kindness today? When did you not share kindness today? And what are you most thankful for today? God has blessed us so richly, I'm sure that all of us can think of many things that we are thankful to God for having. Now we're going to say our closing prayer. In the packet of coloring pages, you'll find the one, the third one, that says, Gentle One. I'll give you a moment to look for it, and when we're, when we're all ready. All right, we're going to say our closing prayer at this time. Go ahead and look for the yellow coloring page in your packet, the one that says, Gentle One, on the top. I'm going to give you a moment to look for that page, and when we're all ready, we're going to say our prayer together. Let's all pray together. Gentle One, thank you for your spirit within us who guides, encourages, and strengthens us. Help us see ourselves through your eyes with love, kindness, and deep joy. May we love our bodies, treasure our hearts, and celebrate our spirits. Amen. Now we're going to sing the Compassion Prayer song.
May we be filled with compassion. May we be filled to the top of our hearts when we have the power to make something right. May we show God's love. May we be shown compassion. May we be found in the center of peace when we have needs that others can meet. May we find God's love. May we find God's love. May we find God's love. Go in peace, serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you back tomorrow. Bye.